please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Coming up on FST News, we find out what COVID-19 sanitation protocols are being followed around this hill. And things looking more normal for seniors this year, including getting their own parking spot. Good morning. Today is Friday, August 13th. I'm Victoria Rader. And I'm Aiden Bennett. Welcome back, Falcons. Being back to full-time in-person learning comes with a cost. Students and staff administration all carry the responsibility to sanitize re and remain safe from COVID-19. FST News reporter Naomi Day takes a deeper look into what will be going on with sanitation protocols. Students spent the first week of school getting comfortable in their classes and teachers made sure safety precautions are in place for the new year. Assistant Principal Polzine says that the whole school will follow precautions to ensure that students, teachers, and staff will be safe from the spread of COVID-19. The custodians are expected to clean um, on a daily basis. We have a machine that's it's called a Clorox 360 machine, which basically goes into each room. They completely, and it completely disinfects an entire room. Um, it sprays um, some materials that cling to all the surfaces in the room. So that's gonna be done in every classroom on every single day. Mrs. Ortiz thinks it's very important to mind personal hygiene by washing your hands and not touching your face. She says that it is important that if you sneeze or cough, you are being aware of the people around you and covering your mouth. Ortiz also explains what she will be doing to keep her classroom clean. So we are going to have rules and protocols in place for how we clean the classroom. Um, we're still waiting on some more guidance on that, but I'll be following all the guidance that comes out from the administration. In addition, I have... Um, air purifiers in my classroom. I'll be wiping down the desks and tables after students use them. Um, and just generally cleaning up after each student and each student group to make sure that there's less spread. Custodians are responsible for restocking Kleenex, masks, gloves, and cleaning products in every classroom. Teachers are of course responsible for making sure the students are following the guidelines and keeping their classroom clean, even though the custodians will clean them after school hours. Posing tells students to do their part too. Um, well, we would hope that you know you guys would observe you know, social distancing as best as you can. I know that's difficult in some classroom situations. Obviously, masks have to be worn at all times, um, and just to be smart, you know, if you're feeling any sort of a symptom that that is COVID-related, please just stay home. You know, it's more important to be healthy, and, and we don't want someone to come to school potentially ill, um, and you know get to a situation where we have to quarantine. Reporting for FST News, this is Naomi Day. Senior parking is drawing near for those of you seniors. Seniors will be able to paint their parking spot on September 10th, so if you want to make sure you have a reliable parking spot that you call your own, don't miss out on your opportunity. Important dates include a mandatory, and we repeat, mandatory, meeting August 18th from 1.30 in room, starting at 1.30 in room 254. You can pay for your spot starting August 23rd, but the last day to pay is September 3rd. September 10th is the big day you can paint your spot after school. Have some happy feet, we may have the perfect club for you. 
Members of the West Coast Swing Club learn to partner dance, which includes salsa and swinging. If you and a friend would like to learn some moves, go to Portable 809 at 1.30 p.m. today to go meet up with Mr. Acosta and to learn more about the club. The Robotics Club is gearing up for a 2021 and 2022 season and need participants to, complete, to compete. Positions include programmers, builders, admin administrative support, game setup, and design. And all will be competing in a first tech challenge. Meetings after school every day except Tuesday in room 312 and all experience levels are welcome. Students will be using Chromebooks again this year and each student should expect to receive one by next Wednesday. Students will receive their Chromebooks during enough English classes distribution take place by a grade level. Students are allowed to take them home and are expected to bring them back school, to school every day. School librarian Mr. Tom, Mrs. Thompson, Tom, Thompson? Okay. would like to remind you that you are not allowed to bring personal laptops from home, only school. Distributed Chromebooks are brought to school. If you are interested in playing for Foothills Flag football team, or for softball team, there will also be an informational meeting being held by Coach Mays at 116 on Thursday, August 19th in room 254. Anyone interested in shooting hoops for the boys basketball team must attend a mandatory Google Meet on Thursday, August 26th at 6 p.m. The informational meeting will include procedures for participating, details about upcoming this, the upcoming season. Please contact Coach DeSantez or Coach Crook for PE and the link to the Google Meet is posted at the bottom of, of foothillhenderson.com. Please log in with your CCSD email. Last but not least today, the student store is now open every day and from mornings from 6.45 to 7 a.m. They are also hiring workers during the fifth period for elective credits. So if you are interested in working for the student store, you'll work both lunches and in between two. It is a great way to learn skills such as customer service, cash handling, and stock rotation. Please see your counselor if you are, if you are interested. And that's all the news going around the hill today, Falcons. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at FST News. And from all of us here at FST News, have a fantastic Friday, Falcons.